Welcome back to the Cars, Cats, and Cannabis YouTube channel. We are starting 2020 off with a bang, and we are in the UP. We have a Polaris Ranger with some tracks. I'll put some uh, footage la from last year when we actually got these tracks. We had a different uh, RZR up here, I believe, a thousand, but we're gonna be messing around with this this weekend. So we are headed to the lodge now. Try not crash here. Just gorgeous. This lodge is on the Taquamanon River in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And this will be the third time I've been there. We were here a year ago and a little bit more snow than this. We seem to be making through this uh, okay. So you go off the trail a little bit. We've hit a snag in the road, so we're gonna cut it down. We had a really heavy snowstorm up here that had ice and then some snow. Former arborist. I played with one of those Milwaukee chainsaws. Well, our brave leader appears to be stuck. We're gonna go look at this hole. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of now. Oh yeah. The exit. Well, can I film you? Yep. Here's the uh, skid plate, the AV skid plate. Yeah, the skid plate marks, I like it. Oh, just send it. You'll make it. Yeah, if not, we can kind of wedge a max track. Try to drive out that way. Oh, you'll be fine. Try one time. Yep. I'll stand off to the side here. Oh, you're so close. So close. Dude, you were so close. Oh, it was about to come out. Oh. All right. One more time. I'll give you a yank. Pull it.
I'm a little bit stuck here. Fell in the hole on this side. So, I need a little tug. He's in there, huh? You bumped him. Give him another one. We've got a fallen soldier here. Thankfully, we got some cell service and we were able to ascertain that he was stuck. How long have y'all been here? It's been like two minutes. Please. Oh, two minutes. Oh. So I called you right as you got stuck? You called me right after we got stuck. Wow. I was just about to pull the winch out and you called me. Wow. Oh, you have a winch. Oh, I got one. Unless you want a longer one. Oh, you want to go back, back there? It's a little rutted out, but you know, that's okay. Yeah, I think he's gonna have to yank it. Maybe I should get out of the way. Okay, now I'm out of the way. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Cars, Cats, and Cannabis YouTube channel. We are about to take off for the day.
Welcome to day two on the Cars, Cats, and Cannabis YouTube channel. We are out on the trails and experiencing the aftermath of an ice storm. So you can see what's going on here. We're having to get out quite often and trim up branches. We've got quite the crew with us. Always leave the trail better than where you, how you found it. So you got the whole group up here. 34 inch cam threes. How are they doing in the snow? I love them. They have uh, traction when I want them to and lose traction when I want them to. <laughs> and yeah, you just, uh, you just got out only because of that front locker. Yeah, I was stuck in the, the right snowbank um, pretty bad and spinning my rear tires. Once I locked the front, it climbed, climbed right out of it. Yeah. Hey, you never know when you're going to need it. And this is one of the Z71s lifted on 33s. Prince rack and chase light. Long bed, though. You know, got to have a long bed. Can't get a long bed ZR2, so you got to build your own. We got a Foz here with a dual range transfer case. Tyler, the ultimate Subaru Heck here. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do a whole video on this before we leave. Sounds good. We got Dan, Adventure Dan, in the rooftop tent, sleeping outside in these temperatures. Got the lodge owner here. ZR2. CBI rear bumper here. Prince and Rhino Rack Solar in the Midwest Overland Industries front with four Baja Squadron Sports and a Warren Xeon Platinum and then of course we've got G2 Skier here and the lifted but custom BDS prototype lift with the 589 front bumper main thing is these 35 inch uh, AT3Ws might have to do that next winter Today has turned into a gorgeous morning out on our way to Taquama and Falls. Going through some ice branches here. Whoa! Anyways, that was an ice branch right there. And have some more here. It is just beautiful here. Well, we're trying to turn around here, and this no was not the most successful, but we're see. I have no idea how we're going to turn around. No clue. I got a shovel. I think we're, I think we're going to have to dig one back in the bottom. We're going to have to dig a spot, probably. <laughs> uh oh. That's one reason why I back up. Come on. You think it's stop? Uh oh. Pause here. 
Yeah, lots of trees. We appear to be a little stuck again. The extended cab diesel. Using a soft shackle to attach to the tow hook and to the recovery rated mounting point. Rated by myself. Yes. <laughs> get out of the way it's a little more involved than we thought so we're gonna show you how a kinetic rope works the other was just a normal like eight foot tree saver this is an actual kinetic strap and once again I should not be standing here but trying to teach the benefits of a kinetic recovery strap it should be just getting ready here So he just like yanked him out. Wow. That is amazing. You see that stretch and I'll just boing. Wow. He said before, he's like, You're, everybody's going to want one after seeing that. And I indeed, I definitely need one. That's amazing, Ty. You don't have to get aggressive with it. It was like boing. And then truck came up. Yep. Amazing. Well, <clears throat> we're going to see if I can get through it. I'm just going to send it. Smallest truck here. I had 35s and 410s and it was lifted four inches and now I'm living the stock life, but with much more prote protection thanks to AEV skids. So we're gonna send it now. We just finished up our adventures on the trails for the weekend, other than getting back to the cabin. And we are at the Gasper Pub here in Paradise, Michigan. Everyone, you know, got stuck a few times themselves and it was fantastic love coming up here got some snow
Welcome back to Sunday morning on the Cars, Gats, and Cannabis YouTube channel. Second annual taco trip in the snow. We are just getting all of our camping stuff put away for those of us that did camp outside. We had a nice fire here last night. There's typically two to three times this much snow this time of year, but climate change or whatever you want to attribute it to, there's not very much snow this year. We are down by the Tequamanon River right now. Above it, I should say. That goes out to Lake Superior there, about eight miles. And we're just gonna do a quick walk around of all the vehicles here. Well, my battery died on the camera there. We have G2 skiers rig with the outboard mounted shocks. Need to get that done on mine very badly. We have this awesome Ranger on tracks we've been messing around with. This will go anywhere, it just isn't super fast. It used to go about 40 with wheels and they say it goes about 15 with tracks. So that's more of like a mud crawling type thing. I am gonna give you a tour of the cabin because I know everyone asks about that. There's my friend Dan here. He did some camping last night. They camped out here last year when it was like negative 20, negative 30 with wind chill, minus eight ambient. And uh, he built this bed rack himself, Smitty bit built rooftop tent, spare tire carrier. Did you stay warm last night, Dan? Oh yeah, toasty. Compared to 40 degrees colder last year? Uh, yeah, a lot, lot warmer. Yeah. This is the lifted Z71 with different uh, upper control arms, CST it looks like. He still has a sway bear because they, they live down in the city, so they do a lot of high speed driving. And we have this awesome Princey rack with some solar on top, Rhino rack, CBI rear bumper with a fold down table on it. You know, I have my bison, but I need to mount a 35 inch spare and I might have to sell my bison bumper and get a swing out, I don't know. This is another friend's truck, extended cab diesel with the sport bar, looks really cool. He's got two spare tire mounts in here, Baja S2 Pro reverse lights. We all run chase lights, even though it doesn't get dusty up here that much, it's just a safety thing. So let's give you a walk uh, around the cabin right now we got here and had to shovel her out it's pretty funny they had an ice storm so all of our coolers you know like sit on top of the snow rather than in the snow natural coolers out here and now we're coming inside here to the cabin have a gorgeous soapstone wood stove keeping us warm for the whole weekend at the loft up there. It's too cold. It's too hot. Like, when is this fun for you? Like one day. Got bedrooms and just a gorgeous view out to the river. I bet this weekend would have been a fun weekend. Everybody say hi. Oh. Just wanted to show them the chill stove here. I'll have to tell you the story of the stove next time we're here this summer. But thank you so much for watching the channel. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell as I don't upload that often. It'll tell you when I actually do have a video. I'm trying to upload more and more as I get more time. Let me know if you have any ideas for places I should go around the Midwest. We're hoping to do a Daniel Boone trip this spring. And uh, trying to think of the next trip I'll be taking might be a little bit here. So you'll probably see some videos with mods coming up and a lot more hiking and nature type stuff with drone photography. We'll see if the drone shots came out. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the love of my life, Margaret. We missed you here and we can't wait to have you be a part of all these adventures. We are headed back from the upper peninsula to the lower peninsula and I appear to have a check engine light. I will see what that is and let y'all know. Welcome to the Lake Effect Snow Bands of Northwest Lower Michigan. Just gorgeous. I don't know if that picks it up on the screen, but just big fluffy snowflakes. We're just getting back. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't and notification bell. I don't upload that often. 
hit the like button also if you want other people to see content like this that maybe they haven't seen before. Thank you so much for watching again and have a wonderful day.